Should authors create a pen name that is connected to the characters inside of their book? While some authors are coming at this from a branding perspective, this is actually one of the worst things you can do both as a professional and from a branding standpoint. And that is for one simple reason. You as an author are not a one hit wonder. You are not only ever writing one book and that's it. You will go on to write more books. You're going to go on to write more series. You're going to go on to write more things. And if you pigeonhole yourself in this teeny tiny little bit of branding, that is going to destroy a lot of future marketing, a lot of future sales. This is the equivalent of instead of creating author social media, as you do something for your book series where you're forever and always tied to that. And you're not going to be able to build that out for the other books and series that you're doing. So your pen name, if you are using a pen name, should not be connected to your characters. It should not be a combination of your characters' names. It should not have anything to do with your series and does need to be something that you can brand for the long haul of your career. You have to think beyond the here and now, right this very second, the next year of your life marketing. You have to think beyond that. What are you going to do when you expand your author brand? What are you going to do when you expand your career? How are you going to be referred to in the long version of your career over years and years and years as you grow bigger? as you do more things, as you potentially get movie deals or TV deals, as you potentially get big book contracts, as you potentially do incredible things on social media, but you are now restrained to just a teeny tiny little section of your brand, of your business, of your author career. That was the very first thing you did that probably won't even be the most significant thing you do in your author career. We have to be forward thinking with this. We cannot just rely on what we're going to have to do right now for marketing. That is going to hurt you in the long run. So as you're creating your pen names, you want to make sure you're thinking of something that's easy to say, easy to sign, something that is easy for you to remember, something that's easy for other people to remember. That's really the key. If they can easily Google it or easily search it on Amazon and not forget a bunch of letters, you're good to go. And you want to make sure you're doing this in a way that in the future, when you're interviewed by magazines and by websites and on TV and all of these things, people are going to refer to you as that name. You don't get to revert back to your own name. So when you're picking your pen name, you have to be very, very careful that it is something that's going to stand the test of time with your entire author career, not just this minute, not just your infancy as an author. We have lots of videos on pen names, how to legally protect your pen names and use your pen names and what you have to do. We talk about how you have to do, you know, different things because it's not your legal name and because when we're dealing with money and taxes and payments and all those things, your real name is going to be connected to it. So we have lots of episodes here on the channel, but feel free to drop your questions on pen names down below. If you need help picking a pen name, feel free to reach out to me independently. You don't have to do it in the comments here, but I'm more than happy to help you out to find something that's going to work for you for the long haul of your author career. And we'll see in the upcoming episodes as we continue to help you navigate the world of publishing from your writing to your publishing to marketing to make this your most profitable year ever. Place amount of stress and overwhelm and time commitment on your content creation so that you can live your best life while also living your best author life. We'll see in the upcoming episodes.